Hello, Bob. That's what Billy the Kid said when he killed Bob Olinger from that window right behind me. Bob died about two feet from where I'm standing. Welcome to episode 10 of Hidden Twisties. Let's go for a ride. This week we're going to ride along the Billy the Kid Trail. We're starting at a point on New Mexico Highway 48 in the center of Ruidoso. I put some Google map routes in the description. The point I started at is the one that's closest to my house, but it is a big loop so you could start at any point that's convenient for you. The full loop is about 70 miles. We're going to head north on Highway 48 to a town called Capitan. We're going to turn east from there on 348 for about 13 miles to Lincoln, New Mexico. In Lincoln we're going to stop and look at the Billy the Kid history. Then we're going to continue on 348 for another 10 miles to uh, the junction of Highway 70. Finally, at, the, at Highway 70 in Hondo, New Mexico, we're going to go back west to Ruidoso to where we started. I should mention that there is another section of the Billy the Kid Trail, it's Highway 220. It basically cuts across the center of the loop and goes to historical Fort Stanton. I'm going to cover that in another episode. And also along the way, you're going to see the entrance to Ski Apache, which is the subject of episode 9. I'll point that out along the way. All operators are busy at this time. Please hold. The weather in this area is cold in the winter. I don't recommend coming here in winter months. Not on a motorcycle at least. In the spring, summer, and fall, the, the mornings are cool. Even cold. It'll get down in the upper 40s, usually in the 50s, even in the summertime. But the summer afternoons are beautiful in the mid 80s. The spring and fall afternoons are going to be in anywhere between the 60s and the 70s. Make sure you dress for it and bring the right gear.
traffic on this route is not too bad. Highway 48 from uh, Ruidoso to Capitan, you're going to see some traffic going in that direction, but it's not, not too much at all. Once you turn east on 348, you don't see a lot of traffic at all. And then finally coming back west on 70, you will see some traffic, but it's a four lane highway, so it's not a big deal. So access to this ride from the west through Las Cruces is about two hours away. From the south you can access it from El Paso which is also about just over two hours. From the north in Albuquerque it's about three hours. And from the east in Roswell, it's about an hour and a half. And all of these places will determine where you're going to start on the loop. All of the amenities in this area, with the exception of one gas station, are in Ruidoso. If you need a restaurant or a hotel or a store of any kind, make sure you take care of that in Ruidoso. Although there is one gas station in Hondo that's convenient on this route. I'll show that up here on the screen. There are a couple local motorcycle shops in Ruidoso. I've passed by both of them, but I haven't been inside. They do get great reviews on Google. Here's the information. Let's talk about Billy the Kid for a minute. 
I'm not a historian, but I'll give you just the rundown of what I know. Billy the Kid was born in New York City as Henry McCarty in 1859. His family moved around a little bit until his mother died and his stepfather abandoned him and his brother in Silver City, New Mexico. Silver City is about a hundred miles to the west of this Billy the Kid trail. Billy got in some trouble in Silver City, stealing some food and guns. He got thrown in jail, but he escaped, and he ran off to Arizona. In Arizona, he took a job at a ranch. Seemed to be doing okay until he got in a bar fight and killed a guy. They say it was self-defense, but they still put him in jail for it. Again, he escaped. He went back to New Mexico. That's when he took the name William H. Bonney. This was 1877. This is really where the legend begins. Keep in mind that the legend and what is known to be true are different things. The truth is just as fascinating as the legend, but you should stop and visit the museum and get the full scope. Billy took a job in Lincoln, New Mexico, working for a guy named John Tunstall. Tunstall was funded by the Texas cattleman, John Chisholm. Chisholm wanted to open a ranch and a general store in Lincoln to compete with the Dolan Murphy faction that already dominated the area. Tunstall gave Billy a job, a horse, and a Winchester 1873 rifle. This is more than anyone had done for him in his life. He was grateful and went on to demonstrate his loyalty. The Dolan Murphy people didn't really take well to Tunstall's setup. Both sides hired criminal gangs to intimidate the other side. Both also had a lot of control over law enforcement and government. Although the Dolan Murphy gang had already established much more influence than the Tunstall group. The gangs of enforcers that supported the Tungstall faction were called the Regulators. Billy rode with this group. It didn't take long for violence to escalate. Tungstall was shot down by the Dolan Murphy gang. This started the Lincoln County War and set the Regulators on a path of revenge. For three years between Tunstall's death in February 1878 and Billy being killed by Pat Garrett in July 1881, the Lincoln County War claimed a couple dozen lives, spawned numerous exaggerated tales, and made its mark on history.
Billy the Kid was definitely an outlaw. Definitely not a hero or a role model. But he didn't do it for the money. He's famous because he was loyal to a man that showed him kindness in a world where no one else had. To me, this makes Billy the Kid unique in the world of Western Outlaws. I highly recommend riding the Billy the Kid trail and stopping in Lincoln to see the history. There's also some history scattered about in Ruidoso and Hondo. The rest of the trip is very scenic. It's really worth the ride. It's not all that twisty though, so I'm going to show you some highlights. The next episode is part two of the Billy the Kid Trail on Highway 220. It's more of a motorcycle road, but it does go past historic Fort Stanton, and I'll show that next week. I hope you enjoyed the ride along the Billy the Kid Trail. Please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video. It lets YouTube know if I'm doing a good job. See you next week. Enjoy the ride.